Last Christmas, we had a game jam on my Discord server, and it went so well that we decided to do this just every six months. So a few weeks ago, we all sat down and we sort of bashed out a vision for how the project could go this time around. And now, a few weeks later, we have a finished, hmm, sort of, prototype <laughs> that you can now try out and download for yourself from itch. Link's all down in the description below if you want to try it. Community events like this are always just a blast. I really love doing them. I love getting to meet people. I love getting to work with other artists and see kind of different people's workflows. And as well with a community like ours, we have a lot of amateur artists or hobbyists or people who are trying to break into the industry. And so it's just really interesting to have it as a little bit of a networking opportunity, but also as a learning opportunity for people to try out new things and just kind of see how their work fits into a larger project, especially group work. Now, on top of all of the learning and opportunities associated with group work, we also had prizes. Before the Game Jam started, I went around and asked a few creators if they would be willing to sponsor us with their add-ons and we had an amazing response so we were able to get just over $1,500 worth of add-ons and things for people to be able to take away with them. I'm really really grateful to everybody who contributed. So we have Node++ from Riaz. This is just an amazing geometry nodes toolkit essentially. Definitely check that one out, link in the description below. We also were giving away ETK. So that's my add-on, that's the uh, Geometry Nodes toolkit that I made. We also had a few copies of PLX, which is a parallax occlusion mapping solution for Blender that was made by Cuboxel. On top of this, we also had Hard Ops and Box Cutter. This is like the de facto hard surface modeling add-on for Blender. It just really gives you a huge number of workflow improvements when doing that kind of modeling inside Blender. And on top of all of those, we also had several seats worth of scatter 5 so we were able to give away some licenses for that that is just an incredible scattering and distribution solution it utilizes geometry nodes now but it also has a whole load of other quality of life things built into it so definitely check that one out as well along with these i gave away several sets of blender socks so these are the uv layout socks that you can get from the blender store and lastly a huge thanks to sense labs for sponsoring the whole thing they have provided us with a pen tablet as well as a quick keys as the grand prize. More on them a little bit later on. This time around, we decided to use Unity. Last time we did Unreal, and I think the plan is to try out Godot next time. So little plug, if you're a Godot developer, please do join the Discord so you can help us <laughs> when it comes to December. We're gonna need it. Thanks to Christoph, we ended up making a mini golf game and then Christoph left immediately because their PC died. But mini golf was a good shout because it allowed us to make completely varied levels and everyone's assets, no matter of skill level or style, could be used without really any issue. So thank you, Christoph. That was a solid shout. The game is called Hell in One. It's mini golf in a museum and there are seven distinct regions of which two are secret levels. Over 150 assets were created specifically for our game an original score of six songs was written by Purs and Cuboxel, and the game concludes with an amazing cutscene created by Barella. The award for most assets provided, Killin' Smalls, for creating over a hundred assets. I mean, like, ridiculous, this man has a day job. And MVP goes to Gigi for creating the core gameplay mechanics and building up artist-friendly prefabs. So we were able to build levels easily with things like moving platforms, checkpoints, openable doors, things like that. If anyone is interested in a very talented young Unity developer who has like a really good sense of the big picture as well as supporting their art team, drop me a message and I'll, uh, I'll try and do some introductions. So many more people put in so much time and effort and you can find all of their links down in the description below the credits. Now, I want to talk about our sponsor, Sense Labs. Sense Labs are a hardware company creating premium pen tablets for artists, and I have one for myself. It's excellent. I'm under no obligation to say this, and in fact, it was me who approached them about sponsoring this game jam. If you're used to things like Wacom, then perhaps you want something a bit more premium than an XP pen, then take a look at Sense Labs. They have these amazing little accessory cases that come with their tablets that have multiple pens and loads of nibs available, and the Quick Keys device gives you a whole bunch of, uh, it's kind of like a macro device that lets you speed up your workflow and shift away from the keyboard a little bit. Check out all of the links down in the description if you want to get your hands on one of these tablets. As with our last game jam, the main winner is going to just be picked at random from the participants. Now, as we're geometry nodes kinds of people, what I've done here is I've created a random name picker 
inside geometry nodes it's a very simple setup we are instancing a collection of our names all of the names are in a collection instant on a single point and the instance is being picked as a random value between zero and the number of instances now if we change the seed we're going to get a random name being picked here so i've plugged this into the frame so i can just press play and then pause in order to pick our option a couple of etk nodes here just aligning for the center there and then forcing the size just to make sure that everything is always going to fit on our screen so without further ado let's roll the dice <gasps> okay a uh, huge congratulations to jaybar for winning jaybar was also one of our producers so she put in a lot of work to making sure that the game jam went smoothly making sure that people's assets were properly implemented into the game so this is a very well deserved prize congratulations i will be in touch and get your tablet sent out to you throughout this video you'll have seen me playing helen one in the background so i just want to quickly talk you through the controls in case you are interested in grabbing it for yourself pretty straightforward here we can left click to start powering up a shot in the direction that we're looking and then once we're clicking we can move the camera around with the mouse movement and use wasd to aim while we're holding and then we can just release to fire off that shot you can press r to respawn at the most recent checkpoint you can also press escape and have a look at your scorecard so if you do play please jump into our discord server and share a picture of your completed scorecard it'd be really fun to keep a kind of leaderboard going somewhere also on the pause menu you can change your ball skin your ball your uh your the player skin there's a lot to choose from my favorite is the mouse and this was actually the mouse from my heist last year and i just cast it to a sphere to make it a little bit more spherical check the links in the description where you'll find the itch.io page to download the game huge thanks to everyone for building this amazing game people contributed so much time and effort into doing this and it came out great to the add-on creators who contributed their prizes and to sense labs for the tablet it's been such good fun i hope to see you in december for the next one take care